Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking, making a different kind of video as uh, I typically do. You know, Texas Plinking, it's about plinking, kind of recreational shooting. I don't really do a whole lot of gear reviews. Um, but the thing is, in the real world, you might have some bad guys plink at you, so you gotta plink back. So be ready for it. So about a couple months ago, we start walking back to the truck here. A couple months ago, I got reached out by a company called Core Essentials. They make cool stuff, but mostly known for their belts, gun belts or fashion belts. But let's talk about the gun belts in this video. They reached out to me, I think it was back in the summer, and asked if I want to do a kind of plug, a quick promo on one of their belts. And I said, I don't know if that's kind of my thing, but send them over, I'll see what I think. And so I gave it a couple of weeks. I was wearing it daily with pants, even when I wasn't shooting with any kind of holster or anything, I was just wearing the belt. And I really, really liked it. It's, uh, it's not just any kind of belt. There's a lot of cool, innovative stuff to it and uh, really cater to be a tactical gun belt. And uh, well, ever since then, I haven't worn another belt. And now I got quite a few. So this is a Core Essentials belt here. This one's kind of interesting because the buckle here tries to look like a normal belt with like a hole, but that's actually fake. A little close there, back up. I'll tell you the quick summary with these belts real quickly and why they're so different from any other belt. Uh, first thing you'll notice is there's no holes at all here. That's why it's kind of funny this buckle kind of mimics one that does the thing is if you look at the back it kind of works like a just a big old zip tie really uh quarter inch clicks adjustment so it's much more fine fitting versus like trying to go for like a big jump to another hole uh, so this one right here i don't know if you'll be able to hear it but it clicks quarter of an inch like i said much more fine adjustment this one here the uh, one and a half inch belt is rated to i got to double check 500 pounds or so and uh, i wouldn't be surprised if it goes a bit more than that now, the cool thing with this is the belt buckle and the belt itself is interchangeable. So if you like the look of this buckle with the gray belt or what have you, you can switch it up. In fact, it actually comes not assembled and it's very easy to configure yourself. You go on the website and kind of choose what you want. And this one here, I actually really like the way this one is. This is the green one here. And right away, you'll see these kind of markings. So you size it up to yourself. You give yourself a couple more inches to work with, especially once you put a holster there. We'll talk about that in a second as well. But you go ahead. You look at the instructions, size it up for yourself. You cut it with scissors or a knife just right there. And then you get your belt buckle, put it in here. This little lip right here clamps down with some really sharp teeth. That in itself would probably lock it down. But to ensure that it's locked down, you get your Allen screws here, screw them down with the Allen key it comes with. All of it's in the box. And then once you do that, this thing is locked in there. It's not going to move at all. So that's kind of the cool thing. There's like honeycomb uh, looking belt buckles like this one. This one looks really cool, specifically with a gray belt. You guys can kind of see that, but really, really easy belt uh, to work. And like I said, not having a holster or nothing like that, just wearing it daily. I've been wearing them every single day. So it's it's a gun belt, uh, certainly. But uh, man, they're just really, really cool. Just a really cool company. They were founded in 2013 and they just got some cool stuff. They got wallets and all kinds of stuff too, but I certainly know them through this. They're about $59.95. It's a belt that should last you a very, very long time. 30 day money back guarantee. And it was one year warranty. But uh, kind of addicting, man. You kind of just want to mix and match all kinds of colors. They got khaki as well. And uh, I dig them, man. We'll get back to the belts in just a second. But I'm itching to shoot this. Like I said, I want to bring out some guns you guys haven't seen in a little bit. Sig Sauer M17 with the Leupold Delta Point and an ETS 22 round mag. Loaded just a few in there. Try it out. This thing runs so good. All right, I've already made so many independent videos on this one. You guys know how much I like it. We'll probably get back to it as the video goes on. But you guys know how much I love 1911s. And uh, I recently got two new holsters. LAS Concealment actually sent me out a couple to uh, take a look at, and they are pretty darn cool. Uh, so I recently made a video with this one right here. This is a Springfield Armory Marine Corps uh, operator. Love it. And then over here is, I'm gonna take the whole holster out here. Another LAS concealment. This one's a really, really nice one, low profile, with the uh, Smith & Wesson Performance Center 1911. So this one here, like I said, LAS concealment holster. This is the Rampart. Uh, they are so configurable, which is really, really cool. On the website, of course, color, left hand, right hand, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but as far as the gun, you guys, I mean, there's so many different options. This one in particular, 1911, no rail, or we could go 1911 with rail. No problem. This one here is the Shogun, and again, railed 1911 like you just saw, or no rail. 
pretty darn cool. The Shogun's an inside the waistband appendix carry one. Taking a look at this one as well, you guys can see that if I had an optic on my 1911, it would accommodate for that. Unbelievably configurable. Check out the website. That's just two of their many, many holsters. So I thought I'd mention that. Again, that's LAS Concealment. Thank you guys so much for sending that out. I'm mean, certainly enjoying my time with them, holding some of my favorite guns I've got, 1911s. So anywho, let's go ahead and shoot some other ones you guys haven't seen in a little bit. If y'all know me, you guys know this one doesn't really need an introduction. Sig Sauer P226 Legion SAO. Love it. Yeah. I've said it before, if you guys are a 1911 fan like me, you'll probably like a 226 Legion SAO. It's like a nine millimeter modern era of 1911 without being a 2011. But uh, overall, just super, super cool. I made a video on this thing, so no need to go far into it. 18 shots here. So flat shooting, so flat. We're gonna go ahead and load up some 45 ACP. There's five, six, seven here. And of course, wanna thank our friends over at ETS or Elite Tactical Systems for sponsoring the video. They make these really cool speed loaders and then they make the cool transparent mag. Like I said, for P320 or MP5 and all kinds of stuff, uh, rifles. I've mentioned it before, I showed them off quite a bit, but the speed loaders are certainly really, really cool. Cycle it up, safety. And I'll tell you what, that is not a light gun, but the holster. And then when you kind of tighten this, again, that's where the, the benefit is with that quarter of click adjustment. Once you get that set, you kind of set it and forget it actually. Yeah, it took me a while to like pistols with red dots. But this one now, man, I like it. Well guys, I think it's gonna do it for this video. Again, I don't normally do videos on kind of gear, uh, but when it's core essentials and I have been using them for so long, I really am just a fan of them. So when they wanted to do this video, I was uh, really, really flattered. So anyway, core essentials, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check them out. Uh, they haven't failed me and like I said, really, really like them, got four now. Um, but then of course also LAS concealment goes so well with that and I'm so glad that they wanted to send me a couple of holsters as well for this video uh, But yeah, all in all it's working out pretty darn well and of course an excuse to kind of bring out some guns You guys haven't seen in a while which makes me think uh, I've made some videos independently on guns a while ago And you guys ask where they are. I still have them if there's any gun that you guys haven't seen in a while rifle or pistol or what have you uh, let me know if you guys want to have it resurface. I could just kind of throw it in a random video here and there, but I figured I'd show off uh, the SIGs I like oh so much in the 1911s. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.